which is um uncanny. Right, got that set, got that set. Make sure the stream is doing that. Where's he gone? <coughs> there he is. Right. Wow. I just need to say about our fucking match was brilliant. Oh no, we've lost him. He was there and then he's gone. So let's look at the teams whilst we wait for Tim to figure out what's going on. Let's look at the pros first. <coughs> And message. So, those fucking blitzers. Blodge step tackle. Blodge step guard catcher. Strip ball blodge. Two guard, fast movement, accurate thrower. And the Dodge wrestle. On the line, where is with Ed Miliband? They're down there, guard block Chaos Warrior, which would be good for the elves. No tackle on the squad at all. Just got to roll powers. How hard can that be? There's Aiden, there's no challenge to Saul. <laughs> That's just walk in the park. The <laughs> Don't even need to do this match. He's, I mean, he's just going through the motions for our sake. He knows he's through. <laughs> okay, match is not up and live yet. Oh, because Chili's dealing with projectile vomit. <laughs> oh yeah, what's the status of the vomit? I was going to say. Do, 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 do. Apparently, it's mm. everywhere. Roll, roll. Well, in which case, we can go back and look at the teams a little bit more. Mm. Do, 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 do. That way, leaks. The bell. Uh, do, 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 do. Champs. Not the champs, the champs. I, this fucking chaos squad, you look at it. And you're like, oh, they're really early progression. They've not really got too much nasty going on. But Aiden just fucking keeps doing it. Just keeps doing shit. He needs to stop this. Oh, God, I've two. not watched any of his matches, oh. to be honest. So I don't know how he plays. But, I mean, he's not got... Alright, a strength boosted... Beast is nice because mm -hmm. it's strength five on a blitz. So one support and it can blitz a big guy. But yep. he's got dodge, he's not got block. So he's not a reliable he's not reliable for putting anything down. Yeah. <clears throat> and his uh his edge has uh block. Which is mm. quite nice. There's there's good legs to go on that. I mean it's it's nice. It's a nice sort of setup. It looks like it's coming along quite well. You know, a couple of block guard, block on some of the base, a couple of quite nice uh, strength and agility boost. Of, you, you know, you, you're happy to get them. Hmm. But you don't look at that roster and go, oh, that's a bow winner. Yeah. Not, not at all. Actually, he's just coming on now, so let's have a quick look at the pros. Again, just to refresh myself, because these, you look at that lineup on the Pro Elves, and you're like, okay, yeah, I can see that fucking happening. And I know they're only two seasons in, but their blitzers are just fantastic. Straight off the bat, just fucking block sidesteps, great. They've both got dodge, they've both got tackle. He's got the strip baller. Who I think is going to be worth his weight in gold against Aiden. He's got a strip ball and a wrestler. 
Triple wrestler. That fucking Butterfingers <laughs> is just. Ugh, <laughs> oh, yeah. nasty. That's Moving incredible. Up. Are you giving a catch up? It's so sidestep, blodge, mm. guard. It's just. Oh, that is that is how you ruin someone's day. Yeah. And he's got the RSI there with the movement up as your one turner threat for when <coughs> when they push you to the full turn drive and you say, "All right, one turn, here we go." The secret is the uh, turn sixteen bullshit play. It fucking is, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, it was, it was such a great match. I'm, I I loved our match. As well, he? Yeah, he's got Which an accurate thrower and a, a rookie thrower. And a rookie thrower. But he's, he's not got any body, so as soon as so he's got, uh, he's got to field everyone straight up. Unless unless he buys another player, but if he's got the bank for it. But if he does that, Aiden's getting two hundred k. Oh yeah, and the difference between them. That's. It's quicker if I do it this way. Yeah. What's that? Uh, 1580 versus the 1440. Yeah. So at the moment it's only 140. Which means, yeah, he's got to throw a little bank just to get the wizard. So Chili won't, won't give him any extra bunts at mm. all. No. Because if he buys another Lino, Lino's got no skills. It's nice to have the sub, but then you're giving Aiden an even 200, which isn't well. No. It's it's a wizard and maybe a babe, I guess, unless he wants to spend any of his own. Any I of his wouldn't. Own bank. Be, this is the thing, though, with uh, with the playoff situation. When we get into that knockout stage, it seems more and more reasonable to throw a bit of your own bank at it because you're like, well, okay, if it doesn't come off, I'm here for another season. I'll accrue a bit more cash. But if you win, you've won. And you don't have to worry about how much cash you got left in the bank. Oh, we're live. And here we go. No, not that one. We're looking at with Ed Miliband versus the Walking Casualties. Yeah, it's absolutely. I mean, if you if you need to put twenty, thirty k in to to make the difference, just to you know, up to a wizard. Or oh, I did it the other day for that babe against you, and it was absolutely worth it. Mm. Um, just. If you, if you're already at your 150k top level, then pop in a bit more in. There's, there's no harm in it. Yeah. Well, it can yeah make if you're spending difference. 20k, you've almost guaranteed recouped that cash anyway after the match, regardless of the mm. result. I mean, I I crept on your team a little bit because I spent 20k to give my oh right straight off the bat. Um, Rid of me. I was just saying, uh, yeah, I got a cheerleader and an assistant coach just for our match because I knew you had one of each just to level the playing field. Yeah, just giving you, you an extra twenty k. Because that assistant coach made the difference between you getting the reroll and both of us mm -hmm. getting one. I'm not sore about that at all. <laughs> it's fine. But I knew giving you twenty k was not going to be spent on anything. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, it's, off it's, it's very sunny. Oh, better switch the view because it's the elf drive. So that's not ideal for the elves. Because the pros do rely on the pass play. God, that's a wall of goat, isn't it? That's terrifying. Is and when you see the block lined up, it does look a lot more threat. But it's um, I have to say, actually, Aiden's been really controlled in spreading his SPP. On mm -hmm. the squad, he's he's gone at this like a, the methodical monster that he is. Because yeah, he has got two block guard warriors. One of them's MNG for this match, but the warriors are just struggling to get. Obviously, he had the lost in the other safe NHS, who's now been replaced. But I, I struggle with chaos just because of that fucking horns. Always being able to get a strength four block off is so handy if, if you want to sack the ball carrier. Mm -hmm. Where's the good thrower? Is he on the bench? 
He yeah. can't be. He's got the body. Oh, yeah, he's got the body. Where's? Oh no, there he is. He's there. Just the palm. palm. Right. Tennis How do you elbow. switch around the view? Because I'm looking at it from the chaos side. Uh, next to the bar that has your pause and skip forwards, there should be switch oh, view. Oh, just a switch view. That would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? I'm smart. I promise. So he's going with the basic thrower for carrying for now. Well, I guess the idea is if he puts the um, the accurate one halfway up the pitch, he can move up, hand off, hand off, and then go from there, and then do a more. If he's got to do a longer pass, he's got the plus one to it. I think he'll probably need the plus one regardless, just because of the weather at the moment. Oh yeah, it's minus. Yeah. Ooh. Aiden did get the wizard. Uh, they're even on the fans. Both have got zero. Yeah. Um, so I'm just thinking about when the wizard's going to get used because you're not going to see the elves caging. Mm -mm. Definitely. Look at that. It's just either side. It's just a string of I can pass to you, hand off, score. He's got. It's just too many bodies to try and cover in any meaningful mm. way. The riot probably helps Chris because if he can get a score on, I mean, he might try and leave it till sort of turn th three or four, maybe. Gives the castle less time to answer. Yeah. Yeah. Straight power. There we go. He needs every single one of those hits to be breaking armor, though. Yeah. I was thinking that was that was targeted as well. That's Aiden thinking about the biggest threat, mm. which would be the one turner. That's There's a temptation to try and base everyone, but mm. I like well. Got... I probably would have gone with basing with my edge. Four, because he's going to be finding it a much easier time to get away mm. and have the strength more central ready to hit out at any direction but Aiden knows what he's fucking doing yeah I mean he's come this far with a team that's not spectacular yet yet he knows his business Looking at this team, I could fully see these chaos. Give them another season, maybe two, and there will be the new Undead Poet Society. They'll just be monstrous. <laughs> you, um, you obviously never played Crispy Crumb, uh, and his eight season <laughs> running. Chaos I've, I've heard like about them so TV many chaos times. Team. <clears throat> but I never had the pleasure, no. <laughs> it's um, it's not something to aspire to. But <laughs> I think it's probably, if not this season, I think Aiden's probably on a very good place to even out some of the levels on the team next season to uh, to get that in. That's a lovely little move from Chile, bringing the guard in there. I think he might... No, he's not going to angle for the surf. He's just hitting and moving away with it. But that's a lovely little use of that guard. Mm. And it's... I was interested to see... I was like, why on earth is he doing those dodges first? They're not important. They are absolutely important to his stall. Because the in the deep field, everyone there has dodge. As long as you move out the way so you're not giving away the free block you're always a threat to score he just needs to let this it's almost like a, a reverse grind he's just rolling his LOS back one square every turn <laughs> until he's got no option but to push up <clears throat> as long as he can keep that yeah because if he can keep that thrower from getting based, mm -hmm. which he's got the, the dodge wrestle there, so 
even a 2D, you should be able to manage something. Yeah. Well, I guess Aiden's just really not going to get involved with this beyond moving those warriors up again. Yeah, he'll trying be aiming at the deep field, trying to get the hurt where it counts. Mm. <sighs> to watching Chili roll these powers and then watch Aiden do a push scuttle is just... I Oish. like that he chose that blitz, though, because he's given himself the second hit. Every blitz is measured and thought out. Yeah, it has to be as well. Those blitzers in there, if you look at the blodge ones, he's got... Well, you can get 2D. What's that? One in three for a pal. But going for the dodge non-block one, especially a guard one as well, if mm. he can get a block on it, he's got much better odds of taking it out. Yeah. And every hit really needs to be... Well, Flooring someone ideally. Yeah. The their chaos armor. are fully Great. reliant on removals. For their own drive, I think they'll probably be alright because they can just solid cage and grind up. There we go, both down. Only a stun, but it could just be a sign a of things though. to come. No, uh, no skills or bench to consider. Wait. Consider the boot. That. I'm surprised at the 1D. Was I was surprise. expecting no austerity to maybe come in and give the support. Especially that was a 1D from a blockless goat. Yeah, that seemed... I'm not sure. Especially because Butterfingers, the, all the pro catchers, have nerves of steel. Mm. Which means that being based is not a fucking problem. It's still a 2 plus catch and then a 2 plus dodge away. And they've got catch and dodge, haven't they? So they're fine. Yeah. So they like they curve, they've got a built-in reroll either way. Mm. And that's what um what Dark Quark was saying, I think, in their last match is that Chili's quite good at making sure his important actions already have that built-in reroll. Which is why they're getting away with only having two. They did have three. <laughs> Sorry, I'm eating a brownie just in case you want. Oh, me. don't, don't! I've been trying so to be good. trying to be good. I've made blondies a while ago with um, M and M's in. Mm -hmm. Fucking delightful things. That's an I think interesting. Think two Manhattan cake is a is what is a <laughs> something worth exploring. Is a that'll concept. be our secondary stream. <laughs> Aiming for the edge. Mm. It's very tentative play at the moment. I mean, we expect the dodge, not much hitting from the elves. It's fortunate that Trickney is a blitzer over there, because otherwise he'd be fully set up for the surf. Oh. <laughs> he could potentially... One, two, three, four. Oh, the pass is going. Here we are. Here we are. It's on. Oh, he did a he did a straight pass. That's interesting. The strength four is there and ready to go. Oh, he's just fucking going for it. Yeah, fair enough. Here goes the dodge. Ah. So right, the little <coughs> cheeky pass was to try and so, yeah, to allow straight. that handoff to happen there. Yeah, it's fair enough. <coughs> Okay. That was what a th four turn three turner because the right rolled it on. Oh. I thought you might draw out another one to be honest. Mm, but. I was telling, but I think he was getting to the point where he's like, you know what, I don't want to push my luck on getting hit repeatedly. Yeah, he's he's managed quite well. And he's, he's not used to any rerolls. He it, so it. No turnovers. Hmm. He wants to minimise the damage as best he can. This brownie is really extremely good. <laughs> I don't think I have any nibbles. I wonder if there's anything left over in the old 
Christmas chocolate bowl. As uh, the last of the fucking quality street that nobody wants to eat. Let's have a village. We got anything good in here? Oh, this is why I I personally object to the mixed bags of different chocolates. Because there's ones that nobody likes and they get left there and then you've got to deal with that shit. I suppose the idea is, they're the sort of the Christmas sharing box, aren't they? That there's something for everyone. Oh, Ooh, bribe. Ooh. Now that's saucy and it's a touchback. That'll be very interesting. Oh, yes. I think we'll be seeing a strength four get in this, surely. Although strip ball is a thing, but then that doesn't matter. There's It'd be no very one with risky your hands. to give it one without block, though. That mm. and the only one you've got then is the guard. Oh yeah, yeah oh yeah, because mm. I mean, I would have been tempted to um, properly tax one percent because he's only one SPP away from getting the level. If he makes it through this, even if he doesn't, he will want his warriors to be having a level. Yeah, yeah it, it's nice. Oh, that's not nice. I don't know why he went with the guard there instead of the unskilled one. Mm. But I guess because Chenny might have to use yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to wrestle that down. Let's have a turnover. Leave you out of position and we'll hit you. Could well see a surfer. Not a surfer, sorry. A uh, foul. Is there anything on the line of scrimmage there worth fouling, really? The rest of if you don't use the bribe, you can just keep on. Oh, uh, yeah. Because the... mm. uh, wind rushes remain. And come in in front of the strength four goat. Have a little stamp now. Mm. That'd be a plus three foul. It I'd be tempted like on it, yeah. Yeah, the, the dodge wrestle is probably quite good if you can take it oh, out. Oh, and it does nothing. <laughs> it rolls a three. Well, at least it wasn't, at least it didn't use the bribe. Yeah. Mm. Nice wide cage. That was otherwise. If he, hadn't, if he had gone off and not been able to use that warrior, that would have left quite a hole. Mm. Although, I mean, he would have got in against the strength four, but he could have got a guard in there as well. Made it a one day. I mean, I would... Part of me feels tempted to say, go for that hard dodge. That's what, two... No, actually, it's too hard a dodge. To get the wrestle hit on affordable housing. Because uphill is uphill... It doesn't matter how many you got because you're not going to engineer. I don't think against Aiden anything you'd be hard pushed to get a fucking one D. Right. So keep punting these risky. I like yeah. that. I do and like that. Him. Mm -hmm. Just be a nuisance, and if if he wrestles him down, then it's he's literally a body in front of the uh, carrier as well, so it just yeah. holds him up more and limits where he can go. Just blocking that path. It's quite a big brownie, by the way. <laughs> Bastard. Oh. All right. I love baked goods. I'm gonna have to wait till half time and run into the kitchen to see what's in there. Probably more uh, quality streets. Interesting positioning from Chile. I'm wondering if he's gone slightly over with that to try and draw them down the left, or whether he's just covering for that forward break. Mm. Oh. oh, just a stun. I don't know, but yeah, looking at it, I would say he's gone more on what would have been the Chaos's weaker side, but... Mm. 
No Brexit doing the business. Good boy. Ooh, the Dodge Wrestle as well. Mm, That'll be nice. MNG. Ooh, yes, MG. please. He can't. If he wants he any semblance that. of a team left in the final, he can't have power it. No, he's got to save it. It'll be it MNG for... in the final. Oh, that's true. Well, that could be much worse. Yeah, that's a difficult one. Mm. I'm also thinking that actually Aiden's going to need to push a little bit up because he's only got, after this, three turns to drive up there. Mm. Oh, there's another foul coming. I can feel it. That's a nice sidestep to negate the assists on that foul. That's really good. That is some quick thinking. Get... Risking slip. No, I can this. get two assists, which is. Uh, he could. No, he can't. He's already used his blitz. Hmm. So yeah, he could throw in one at the back to make it a plus two. But then you're bundling quite a lot of players mm. in one place, and it's not too hard for him to hold you up. Yeah, I'm going for it. One assist. Mm. There's a stun. Eight. Stun and no bribe, that's a yeah, win. Yeah, ref remains obstinately blind. <clears throat> Clearly the ref also has a brownie. Mm. Oh, that sidestep is such a problem. And round the back goes RSI, probing like a velociraptor on an electrified fence. <laughs> Clever girl. I, I'm just not convinced by leaving slip disc where he is. Because I know he's sidestepping is a nuisance, but... He is one of your key players. I would put him at front of one of the columns rather than leaving him. I mean, I guess in this case he moved moved it, uh, moved him sideways to try and reduce the foul support. But yeah. <clears throat> I wouldn't be basing any more than I absolutely had to. I think that's... Oh, that's the accurate thrower. That could mean some business. For the following match, the removers are starting to mount up now. I, I, I get what you're saying with slip disc. I mean, those two blitzers are absolutely key. Mm -hmm. But I think Chile's a little bit more confident because there is a complete absence of tackle. Taking down Blodge is a one in six. He's picked a hole. Oh, yes. So the foul is definitely happening on Pinky Boo Boo. He can't risk that standing there. Yep. Bundle everything into this gap. Keep shoving it. Because mm -hmm. he's only got two turns after this. So yeah, at the moment, the ball carrier can even handle getting pushed back one sk square and still be in scoring range. Mm. And in comes Bursaries. Time for a foul. Now this is a plus four. Straight 12 oh. on the armour. Wow. Oh, it's the double though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there goes the bribe. Blows. But it's been accepted. Okay. It's all right. I'd be tempted to pull that guard up, you know, because I don't see them hitting in that corner. Yeah, there we go. you got to try and force the rolls out of the elves here now. Because they will just screen and slow you and you need to punch a hole through this oh. 
<laughs> I mean, I, he's Aiden sp spread the team quite widely, so I. Mm. <clears throat> I was just looking at um, funded public services, the Edge 4 GOAT. He can make a break and just threaten himself as a receiving threat. That's what beasts are most best, uh, best made for. Mm. Oh, and there's the one. I mean, he's... Yeah, that one. Turn seven, he's got both of his three Oh, that's a good point, actually. I was going to say, it's not massively worth it, but as you say, it's turn seven. He's got, that's his last action. There's nothing else he would have used it on, yeah. so. Yeah. Although, actually, I mean, it's surprising. I know we lost the turn from the riot, but. The dice have been. Pretty kind. I guess a lot of Chris's dodges have been using, and I've seen a couple of them fail. And then yeah, the dodges kicked in. Dodge on it. But... Yeah, and then the warriors coming up. <clears throat> I still would like to, uh, the trouble is I'll say I'd like to see funded public services feigning on the other flank just in case, but that would leave him far too exposed. I mean, I guess there's no harm in yet in him running up. It seems an unlikely play. It would be very, very desperate. Um... But <clears throat> because if he has to pass across it, and he ends up passing across oh, yeah. four or five different hills <clears throat> catch. Oh, where are the catches actually? Uh, that was one just moving in in front of the cage there. Oh, yeah. Where's the other? Oh, he's lurking at the back. Oh, it was your shin splints. It's shin splints junior. So, oh. Well, there's the reroll. Oh! I think you must be just a bit ahead of me. It's a nice little chain push, but it doesn't. Maybe he's GFI to that corner? No, he's not. He's covering oh. that bit. I think he needs to give. Oh, Butterfingers is sidestep. He's holding on to hope that Aiden can't roll a pow. Because as long as Butterfingers is in that particular column, Aiden can't get through without dodging. Yeah. Right now that's even harder. That's a blitzer as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's no way to do that without dodging. I mean, even if you move one, even if you, oh, if you can power Butterfinger straight up and then blitz and power trick knee. Yeah, that's that's a lot to ask for though. Yeah. You got a two D power, then two D power on the blitz. You probably got more chance with funded public services dodging away, getting into the end zone. And then, well, that's a that's not sidestep there with Shin Splints Jr. You could blitz him and give you a three, four, five, six. Five plus pass. Five. No, I think that he yeah, might. No, he's plus. still being. That's in a four plus. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right though. That does seem like he seems a lot more likely than rolling the powers. Hmm. Because he's got yeah. Because if he moves the if he moves properly, tax one percent and nursing bursaries. I mean, he could even use those two you said to well, actually, probably probably. He's going to chain push. Oh. He's going to no Brexit. 
down. Push Bliss to palm out, and then he doesn't have to roll the dodge. Oh, he does have to roll the dodge because he didn't power. Mm -hmm. I see. I think I was thinking of doing the blitz on Shim Splints Junior to cut one square of movement off of a affordable mm. housing's approach to shorten that pass. I mean, he absolutely could hand off to no austerity, then run up and pass. Because it's actually better odds for the pass that way. You've got the reroll. But is it worth the additional One, two, three plus? Three, four, catch. five, six. Instead of making a three plus or four plus pass to a three plus. Mm. True. I, I don't know. I've not. It's, it's work, I never know my fucking pass ranges because that's what he'd get to there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a bit long. I think, does that just... He's going for the handoff. Rerolls used, but it's a short pass. Actually, it might even be in quick pass range. Yeah, three squares. He's fucking done it. Yeah, there we go. Very nicely <clears throat> done. I mean, it's great from both of them there. That was incredible defence from the elves to push the chaos into doing a fucking pass play to equalise. And now the chaos have got to try and do it again. We'll see. Oh, both the KOs are back from the elves. Oh yes, lovely. Right, I'm quickly raid the kitchen. Bonjour. So we're back in the second half. It's worth remembering Chris has still got a bribe. I'm not sure you're bundling a lot of players, but if a AG4 Motherfucking goes, wagon point. wheel. <laughs> Jackpot. And I was saying Chris has still got his bribe, hasn't he? Yes. I don't he know. Does. I don't think he'll he'll go to try and get a lot of support for it because it's not in his interest to bundle no. up his players. But if a beast goes down, if the strength four or the edge four, definitely, if one of those goes down, then... Oh, yeah, yeah I'll take a punt on that. He's got an unskilled lineman. Give mm -hmm. him a quick boot, see what happens. Chili's quite lucky about those KOs. Hmm. Rob saying um, Aiden to win now. I think it's, it's definitely in Aiden's favour getting the equaliser. Mm. Then, because he's got eight turns now to just... <laughs> seven turns. And just to slowly roll up. <clears throat> and he's got the wizard to break through that. The screen gets put. Oof. Ooh. Very nice. And a well placed fireball will just punch through that hole that he's looking for. I don't. I don't like this. <laughs> you fancy your chances more against the elves than the chaos, don't you? I do. I've got three tackle that's completely moot against them. Mm. They will have all four strength four players back, which will give them two guard. Sorry, they'll have another one because they've got the beastmen as well, so that's five strength four players. I think I will have a harder time punching through all of the chaos than I would having to deal with positioning against the elves because I think with four mighty blow three of which have tackle 
players, I'd probably be able to whittle the elves enough quickly enough. Yeah, those whites are so glad. I mean, I wanted him to stay off, but to keep that pile on white KO'd as much as I did for our match, because mm. he was really terrifying. And it's so frustrating because both of them are one injury away from getting their next level. Well, boo poo. I was gonna. My, I had a plan in my head and everything. They were gonna both get grab, and then we we're gonna come at the elves, and we were just gonna fuck their shit up. We were gonna surf the side steppers, because he'd forget that I'd had grab, because it was a new thing. He'd only forget once. Yeah, that's true. Once is all you need. That was a bit. Oh, because the other ones. No, that was surprising. Why did he do the blitz with the with the dodge guard instead of the block strip bowler? Because he's got block. It would have just been a mm. safer bet. I don't. I mean, maybe there's a rationale behind it. I'm just somewhat surprised. No, I see what you're saying there. I I like this play out of the elves. That Chili knows I'm not going to be able to stall this. I'm not going to be able to hold him off. Not reliably. So let's put the pressure on, especially with the failed pickup from the uh, Adge 4. He's still got enough Beastman free. Well, Chris hasn't marked anything up, so. Aiden has enough players free to still make a cage mm. uh, about the 10 yard line. Uh, one, two, three. Well, it's four, between the, five, the 8 and the 12, six. yeah. So, yeah, the 10 yard line. Which is 10. But. <laughs> shush. Math. <laughs> we don't do math here on two men counting. We have to. Yeah. Well, Sorry. that is nice positioning. Because yeah, that's, that's forced bollocks, that it? back. That's really good. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. That's me. That's that's great elf play. Completely separating the chaos squad. You because they can absolutely punch a hole, but then you're really struggling to get far enough to secure the ball. Yeah, he's got MA6. He can risk the GFIs. Very nice. I... Well, I'm a bad person, but I'd still be tempted to put some bodies around the MA9 and risk fouling him with an unskilled beast. You know because what, actually, yeah. KO him or injure him. Get the cage around that, yeah, put the ball carrier in the middle next to him and stamp him. I th you're, you're very good odds for a break. If he's stunned, it still gives you another turn to mm -hmm. get past him. If he goes off, then he, then it makes his one turner that bit harder. Which I think is no bad thing. Hmm. <clears throat> I, I'm curious and a little bit surprised to see that um, Chaos are basing them here. Mm. Because he knows all too well how well the elves are going to dodge out. So one assumes this formation in the centre is basically a loose cage to cover the edge four. But there is an exposed back end. Butterfingers can get in there for a happy one day. Oh, GFIing up into there. Yeah. <clears throat> and he can't risk doing that foul. He made his cage and he's going to line it. Uh, so the, the cage is safe now with the two warriors, one side, the three beasts covering the other side. Mm. I guess the idea is Chris doesn't have a great deal of interest in blocking those beastmen, so he's just making him roll more dice to get away. Yeah. Uh, That's surprising. Very interesting. What's it? That's Nick. So that's purely a negating move, but there's a guard warrior there. If he was moving up to support a blitz on the guard, 
Yeah, he wouldn't be based in between. But basing between them seems a very... I mean, maybe he thinks what will happen is Aiden will block with no Brexit, which means that his cage has limited movement up, but mm. Aiden's still... Got He's got enough pieces there up front to be able to roll through. Here comes a... Oof. Oh. Snacks. He snaked the five plus dodges as well. <laughs> That's Sam. Um, snakes. Why did that was strip balls. Snakes. He was going for the five plus with dodge, figuring that any just a push would do the job. I mean, I would really love to foul that guy. <laughs> it's because you're a monster. I mean, just, to be fair, uh, that strip ball person. is the big fucking threat. Yeah, it's it's a strip ball catcher. I know it's a difficult one because if you just stun him and get sent off, it's not really added much. But trading a, a KO for a beast, mm. for an unskilled beast, is the way things are looking as well. The chaos aren't hugely looking like they're going to need to use their wizard for this drive. Mm. Which means they can potentially use it for the elf retaliation, which would be huge. You can't, yeah, but you can't use it before kickoff, can you? So, no. if he's only got oh, there you oh, go. Oh, it's the double, but he's KO'd. Did you use the Did you use the block warrior? The no, that was a that was the skillless goat. Oh, okay, good. Oh, I mean, wow, this is. I'd be pretty happy with that. Oh yeah, that's definitely value for money on your foul. I'd be happy if you'd killed him, but... <laughs> oh no, I'm really worried I've got to face this fucking chaos. Come on, Chile. It'd be great. You can do this, Chile. You got this. Yeah, I... I think it would just be embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, there we go, snake. That was another snake. Oh, oh that's an injury. Injured. That's the fucking uh, movement nine. What's the all right? Badly I'll power it. I power it. There we go. Powered yep. it to an Okaz. Keeping himself with the dream alive for the one turner. Also means that he's safe from because I was thinking with the wizard that if he doesn't need to use it for his drive, he can just try and thunderbolt a valuable elf, mm -hmm. and that catcher would have been the prime target for that. He would. I think my other one. Butterfingers. I think just because of the the blitzers are AVA, I think I'd go for butterfingers. For the guard lodge mm -hmm. sidestep would be my target of choice. Interesting thing, because I was thinking about sidestep. <clears throat> it absolutely fucks you for trying to do one turners. Because with sidestep, you have to step to an open space. You can't elect to go in the chain push. Mm. And in Blood Bowl 2, you're not able to decline to use sidestep. Can you can you opt not to in the it's, normal? It's not in the. I think you can. You can opt to not use any skill in the actual tabletop, I believe. Mm. I, well, not frenzy. You definitely have to use frenzy. Oh, you have to with frenzy. Okay. Maybe you have um, to then with tape with a um, sidestep. But I was under the impression that it was optional. I'm not sure. I'll have to check my rulebook. Oh God, that is a massive chaos there. <laughs> I'm desperately thinking on the elf behalf here. I can't see a way this getting stopped now. You got four players off the pitch. You just haven't got the bodies to to cover that approach. Yep. Popping res uh, respected nation. <laughs> <laughs> What's in all these names? Um, 
I was going to say he can. He's got enough L's that he can pull them around and put a couple of columns up to try and oh, slow them down. Hopefully, for a turn it, to get the others in. But oh no! The snakes are coming oh. thick and fast. <laughs> Full stall happening now. I mean, this Chaos is it. You just go again. park the bus on the the end zone. Well, the elves still have their bribe. But I mm. don't know what they'd do with it. Because they need everybody they can to try and get the one turner. And even then they're going to be hard pressed because Aiden will set up in the most optimal defense against it because <coughs> he'll have all his strength four being the LOS he'll space the players right so that it's hard to get around and get the behind blips this is going to be such a thing that was was it three lots of snakes in the last three turns mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, and GFI giving a one D on that corner. No built-in dodge, no block. <laughs> Going for the... Oh, and there's the double stars. Reroll that shit, put him down and foul the fuck out of him. Hurt him more. <laughs> Bring in Blistered Palm. Bring in Ouchy Scratchy. <laughs> I mean, you could dodge trick knee in really up in you. But I feel it's a bit excessive. You've got plus four. I feel, given the last three <laughs> turns of snakes, <laughs> I'm not going to be dodging. Oh, that's sort of surprising. I didn't think he was going to do that. Still putting the threat up there. I like that. Nope. <laughs> This is the <laughs> pinning your friend, your favourite strength four to the floor, repeatedly pounding it in the face and saying, score or I kill him. <laughs> I mean, I'd fancy my chances for one more turn. Well, yeah, one more turn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's still got a GFI 1D blitz on the corner, but he hasn't got block to do it with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Trick Knee has a better line. Yeah. No, he doesn't. 7. That's still a GFI. Just one GFI to do it, but roll of power doesn't fucking matter, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. GG. One by dice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. There is no mighty blow on this Chaos Squad. It's incredible the amount that I've seen them break armour. Get in there and stamp. First action. Because he's scoring next turn. He's not... Unless you're planning on doing some sort of miraculous blitz. No. He's caught and no armour break. That is piss boiling for Chile. Do you know, 
at some point you had to have one of these games and I'm just pretty pissed that it happened when he's playing bloody Aiden of all people yeah. <laughs> is bloody Aiden where he rolls all the snakes and the opponent's getting powers and KOs oh oh furious well we can't write it off yet because there is the potential for a one-turner. Uh, fair play to that. You've got to make the the attempted blitz. Yeah. Just walk in. Oh boy. Okay, five cast. Um, our man with the stats will. Uh, it's just come to me let us know that um, Cobra's Chaos as well had no mighty blow and oh no wait he's he's got the uh, lizards now hasn't he no he, no he's still with his chaos isn't he Cobra yeah yeah he's still um, got his chaos elf souls and human holes isn't it that's right yes that was the team name um, they in one match inflicted five no oh, no sorry first yeah first game of the season no mighty blow inflicted five Kaz Oh, that is unfortunate for Chile. Don't go toe to toe with chaos. Ugh. He's got. I mean, even if he gets the score, oh, look at that setup to stop it. Oh. If he gets the score, on the long odds for the one turner, it goes He's to still, overtime. Yeah, but I fucking overtime it. Aiden's got a wizard and two rerolls for Chili's one reroll, and assuming because he will almost certainly burn one here. Oh, it's... <laughs> unless the weather changes as well. If he tries passing, uh, I think a... to be honest, the only hope the elves have got right now is a riot giving him a turn. Hmm. That is that is form. He's got form for that. Oh, fucking hell, I'm getting inside my own head now and just thinking, like, I don't think I can... The thing is that I keep beating Adam in the group stages. And then it comes to a playoff and I'm terrified of him. Well, actually, no, I don't keep beating him. I think I get draws against him. Although, hang on, Will, you're the one with the stats. What was the result of me versus Aiden this season? Can you remember? Oh, better switch the view because it's elves driving. Uh, I'll check the poet's um, stats after this match. Have a look at their history. I would not fancy this. Oh, chilly, chilly, chilly. Where's um? Where, where's our side? There he is. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he needs two pushes. Yeah. Two pushes then to make both GFIs. <clears throat> that looks like a short kick. He's got another reroll. Mm. It goes to overtime. It's almost per that ball is almost perfectly placed for what he needs. Yeah. Catch saving him there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. <laughs> How's he gonna. I can't. I'm trying to see the line to get these pushes here. 
but the guard in the middle causes problems. So that's minus one, that's minus one, plus two, so it's still it's a 1D. Blitz the first one in from the side, doesn't he? And there you go. Oh, that's fucked up. That's no, covered it. <laughs> harsh, harsh he luck for the elves this match. He can't push anyone round. Neither player did anything wrong. Both coaches fucking did the right thing every step. Just Chili started getting a spate of bad luck with his dodges. Yeah, I think that was it. Was the three turns in a row? If it had happened on turn, you know, turn two and turn six. Yeah, if you were still in a better there, position you're... to work with it, but. Get in that little bit of vanity. Ugh. Well. Chaos in the final. Congratulations, Aiden. Oh, shit in El Farage. Forgotten has just got a fucking level out of that MVP. <laughs> That's going to be Claw. Uh, I think... Oh, I think Claw might be a double for Chaos Beast, isn't it? No, it's a standard. Against you, I would. Oh, he could go just standard Mighty Blow. I might be tempted by Mighty Blow. Just looking at Claws... the Chaos dice there for a second. He rolled so few dice for yeah. his D6s. That's such hard luck, mate. Really, you played everything right, and then you just had those pretty much three turns in a row. I'd, yeah, I rolled six once in a row. <laughs> uh, that is the reason that he's the. He's the, the <laughs> charm. He made me roll a lot of dice and it just did not go well. So, but, hey -o. I mean, he'd rolled hardly anything. I thought, to be honest, I thought I'd shut him down at the end of the first half. Um, oh, you did so well. You but, forced him into a pass play. And yeah, I don't and think what, you can ask fairer than that. It was very sunny all game, mm. which killed me. And then the bribe killed me as well. Hmm. I was begging you to hurt that fucking strength four. I was, I was trying. I was giving it a damn good go. Mm. I mean, my dice overall were quite good. It's just, <laughs> I just, it just left me so out of position. Mm. There wasn't anything I could do. I had to rely on the one turn. Yeah. That's actually, yeah, yeah your your Aiden's D6 block dice were actually cool. quite poor. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I just rolled them at the wrong times. Yeah, that's isn't it. The small spate of bad luck at just the wrong moment, and elves are in trouble. Yeah, I mean, he got a few, he got a few removals, which didn't help. Mm. But it was always going to happen, really. But I, I just, I was hoping I would maybe take one of his down, but no. Oh. Get any pressure on the ball? When he needed a pilot, if he'd not, if he'd not taken the catcher down, when I kind of had a little screen in front of his carrier, uh, uh, we, thought, we thought that I was mean, a lovely play, bringing that in and covering off the only place he really had to cage. It was beautiful stuff. Yeah, but he, he stunned that catcher on a oh. straight pow, and I then rolled six ones. Yeah, and and after that, he was he was caging on my touchdown line, and there wasn't really anything I could do about it. Um, I mean, I was juicing ones. There's no, there's no denying it. But yeah, that was, yeah. He did exactly the right things and made me roll dice. And I can't complain. My dice have been fucking brilliant the entire tournament. Um, and they just went to shit tonight. <laughs> so you oh, fucking oh. kill him. Oh, I was so hoping for you. I'm scared of this chaos team. They don't look like much on paper, but they're fucking monstrous. But they shouldn't. I mean, they sh they shouldn't have won that game. No, when you look at not the st have won that statistically, uh, but it's just it's every single, every single match he rolls just what he needs, and it's not. It's just Aiden making all the right plays and making mm. putting other people under pressure. But it's just every single match he's like, oh, I'll just when I need to, I'll just pow this bludge step. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, because if I, if I don't pow him, 
he's going to step right into the way of my ball carrier, and then my ball carrier's getting sacked next turn. And he pows he pow it and stuns it. It's like, oh. Mm. I mean, to be fair, the, the strip ball five up dodge into the cage would have been ridiculous. But oh, yeah. But it was, you were at the situation of you've got to fucking try that. Well, I had a reroll, and if it had worked, a 1D strip ball block piece against a non block dodge piece, the ball's coming out five times out of six. Yeah. At which point I had two sure hands catchers standing there, mm. and I would have scored. Oh, that's it. If the so ball hits the deck, try, elves, but... are, elves are happy as Larry. Wow. Faroth has uh, rolled a double and taken dodge. Sorry? So uh, Faroth has rolled a double and taken dodge as an update. So he's got a blodge fucking goat now. Good thing I've got a lot of tackle in it. you got a lot of tackle. Well, there's, there's a lot of value there now, actually. Yeah, now, actually, all my tackle makes sense. I think I might have to bring the elves back next season now. Oh, I can't blame you, mate. You don't have to. I can't blame you at all. You know, the thing that the thing that annoys me more now is if I get my first win, okay, yeah, it's against Aiden, but it's against that fucking Chaos team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what's worse is if I lose, that's my third choke in a final, and it's against that fucking Chaos team. <laughs> the reason that Nuffle made Aiden win is we both would have choked. And it oh, of course, yeah, on. what would happen there? We'd have just... Um, we just you've stood still got there. to catch though. I've choked three times. So you're still behind. Oh, don't. This will be my one. Just make sure you won it. Make sure that was Ah oh, He played really well. Oh he yeah. Um, wrong. Neither of you made any wrong plays out of that, I don't think at all. It was a I, it was a fucking masterclass. I, just I, th I I could have suppose of of stalled a little bit longer in the first half before scoring. But I was concerned because it was just so it was very sunny all game. Mm. I didn't want to get in the position where I had to make a long pass. Yeah. I mean, a short, a, a, sorry, a quick pass with my accurate player was still a two up. Mm. I didn't want to get. In, if I'd stalled a couple more turns, he would have had to score early or probably turn it to overtime. But oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Make handoffs and fucking passes. And very sunny in turn eight, so. There they are. I'm going to yeah. look at my history because I want to see what happened this season against. It was a one all draw against Aiden in the group stages for me. So I couldn't even beat him in the fucking group. He did. Than anyone has against me all season. And so... he'll be getting 210k of injuries. It was due. Yeah, it was. Get, he's got his other guard warrior back. Yeah. That's the worrying thing for you. Yep, yep. Both down skull. It was on his fucking block warrior. And not the other he's two. Got, he's got the cheerleader and the coach, and I'm inclined to keep my cheerleader and coach to go up against him then. It was a really good game, but he, he did absolutely everything right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I say. I, I don't think I would have done anything different. Oh, hey, yeah, I've got a cocaine lunch. He hasn't got that much, because I'm sorry to... Whoa. But, um... Like someone else, keep cocaine lunch. Whoa! Actually, you know what? Anne Brainty the second has no... Exp as does Emily. I'm not getting rid of Emily. I love Emily. I will keep cocaine lunch. Yes. Let's get rid of Anne. <laughs> and then, but, if it all goes wrong, <laughs> you know who I'm blaming. players right? might win. <laughs> <laughs> Does that sting? Does that sting ever so slightly? <sighs> seeing, seeing cocaine lunch lifts the oh, thing that lifts the trophy. Lift oh. in the cup. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Um, and I need to burn a little bit of cash. So let's do that. Maybe we can play again next season, else against Nurgleton. Well, I don't have any more tackle. <laughs> That's even better. Why are you just taking combos? Oh, if only I could so trim a little bit more. Good, He's getting 150 at the moment. If I can just trim a tiny He'd just spend bit. bit. Yeah, he would. He'd spend He'd it out of his own pocket. Has he not got... Is his bank not over now as well? You on... Yeah, well be. So bearing in mind, you're going to give him... He's, you're going to be giving him more adjustments because he's... Yeah, he's got, he's got 130 in the bank. So... Yeah. But, right, I'm going to go for a cry in the bathroom. I mean, uh, see my children. Go for it, buddy. Well played. <laughs> Hard well luck. Right. I'll catch you later. Cheers, Cheers man. Alright, oh, bye.
Well, now all that remains is to set up the actual final and write the fluff before it as well. It's the most important thing. That is absolutely the most important thing. Cocaine Lunch is going to get a shining mention. <laughs> just, to, just to build up this pressure for him. First ever match really... for the Poets and, uh, and it's all going to be his fault if I lose. Just insult to injury to the valiant Nurgle side. Oh, Rubbing their noses in it. I fucking love this game. It's brutal and horrible and unfair and it's brilliant. I, do you know I'm looking at your team and I still, I still fancy your chances. Oh, I absolutely. To be fair, I think I've fancied the poets' chances for the last two or three seasons. They've on. Um, they've been looking good for a good while. I mean that the match against Glenn and his Kemri, I think, was when they were in their best shape. Mm. Because I think I had three blodge step goals. Are uh, you not inclined to drop another drop another zombie for what will that be? Twelve players? I am kind of tempted, but I like having the three zombies as my LOS because I feel like putting the skeleton there as AV7 is a bit of a weak link and the skeletons on an undead team are a little bit more mobile linemen so you want to keep hold of Philip Larkin the third the third oh, I could lose him you know what actually I did bench him for my th you know oh I'm tempted I'll think about it he's got nothing it's... I mean, he'd, feels... he'd, don't, he'd only spend it out of his own pocket, but you know what? I think you might be right. That's true, actually, you would, wouldn't he? Um, so so would, it, would it make that much difference? Much. He'd be spending the 40k he's easily got, and I'd be down a player. Mm. <clears throat> and I do think the Skellies are a little bit the unsung heroes of undead teams. Just for getting in there and giving the assist where the white needs it. Getting in there and just being in the way between a ghoul and death. You're, yeah, you treat your very ghouls very well. I try my best to, because especially once you get the progression on them, <clears throat> they're incredibly valuable. Mm. They are the scoring pieces on this team. I know whites can do it, but they're nowhere near as reliable as a ghoul. I mean, Robert Graves has been with me since this team started. That's, that doesn't seem right. I believe. But no goal survives more than eight matches. Hang that's, on, let me have a look not... at the player. Statistics. He's played 40 matches. Well, there you are. Yep. 99 blocks, Kate. How many, how many times has he been down? Uh... It's not inflicted, it's received, isn't it? It'd be received, sustained. Yeah. Uh, 14 injuries sustained and one KO sustained. 14 injuries, so those must have all been badly hurt, badly hurt or MNG. Yep. In no, incredible. sorry. No, because injuries sustained are not the same. It's casualties sustained. Ah, uh, So he's yes. had three that would be either MNGs or badly hurt. So in fact, that's that's quite like injury sustained because if that in, does that include injury rolls will include rolling for stuns is, doesn't it? it's not just KOs yes yeah injuries includes the stuns one KO, one KO sustained in 40 games why do you think in the fluff he is a nervous wreck <laughs> he should be riding high he must think himself invincible <laughs> yeah Edward fears was newly bought for last season, I believe. Because that's right, because I bought him as my fourth ghoul to start training up to cover for Tolkien, because Tolkien was my short hands ghoul at the time. Hmm. And then he promptly died, and Edward Fear took over, and then the new Tolkien got the edge. Yeah, edge for ghoul is very nice. You managed to get him to block as well after, hmm. which is. I think he MVP'd on the match where he got a level from a touchdown. And then got the MVP, so he rocked into this third level really quick. 
Mm. Yeah, because, I mean, AG4 is very nice, but if you still just dodge, yeah, it's still not that hard to put him down. And when they're down, they're very exposed. I'm tempted just... to look at um, Graveyard Kipling as well, actually, considering he's the, the hurting... He's played 41 matches, which means one of the injuries that um, Robert Graves sustained was an MNG. Uh, unless you didn't have all four goals at the start and bought him after the bought him after first the first match. match. No, no, that Possibly. didn't happen. Oh, I know that that didn't happen. There's no way I could afford a goal after my first match. And <laughs> I, I spent the first two seasons playing with only three goals. It was only Chile's constant badgering. It got me my fourth. Graveyard Kipling's caused 23 casualties. That's not particularly high, to be honest. Two kills. I guess they do start with... They do they start, start with mighty with blow. blow, don't they? Mm. Two, two kills is good. Two crowd staffs. I, mean, I think Edgar Allan Ghost then must be my other big hurt, because previous William Spookspear was doing well, and then he got Aidened. That's why I'm scared. Yeah, 16 casualties. Of he scored six touchdowns. Good on you, Edgar. Yeah, he's been with us the whole time. 41 matches. Just, uh, I'm just going to quickly eyeball Murder Goat and see what it is. I can't believe that I was so... I fucking knocked him out twice. Yeah, well, I knocked out that Poxy White as well. Twice. Yeah, well, there was no bounty on the White. The bounty was on Graveyard. <laughs> Uh, Chili in the Eye has 27 casualties out of 30 matches. So wow, just so shy far, one match. Far superior killer. Um, 30, 35 KO inflicted. <laughs> Jesus. 110 injuries inflicted. Only one kill, though. You know, I think Robert Graves might be my top scorer. <laughs> as well. How many uh, touchdowns? Nine touchdowns. Let's have a look at... Because the others are all... Replacements, which doesn't. Edward Fear has done seven. Catching up pretty quick considering the number of matches. Done less than half the matches and he's got the touchdowns for it. Right, I am going to toddle off now. Thank you mm. for joining me in commentary on that. It was my absolute Sour pleasure. disappointment for Chile. But magnanimous in his defeat, must be said. He took it very well. Mm. That, that dicing. He... It could turn a man. Oh, absolutely. It's like um, seven sets of double skulls being rolled in one match, isn't it? Ugh. Four for you, three for Ugh. me. At least it was fairly balanced. Outrageous bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, it felt... The dice were not that kind to either of us. I think no. possibly I edged it on the grounds that you failed a huge number of foul appearances, but... Christ, it was, it was so frustrating. <laughs> but I haven't got to worry about that with this chaos. Oh no, sir! I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that fart noise, my uh, my alert noise, <laughs> just just for the blood bowl right. hangout. Just love it. Uh, well, thanks everyone for watching. We will see you on the pitch next time for the final. Good night. Night all.